Northern elders discuss Buhari, says his greatest mistake is neglecting Nigerians. Hello, my wonderful people. Northern elders are rising up and saying Buhari has made a serious mistake. And the mistake he has made is neglecting the very people whom he should be relating with. When you have a leader who is there for the people, who understand the plight of the people, who speaks to the people, who, you know, is there, true, thick, and tame. Listen, the people will forever be loyal. Getting people's loyalty is a very important aspect of leadership. You don't command it. You don't ask for it. You earn it. Now, this is what Buhari has failed to do. He has not even addressed issues that pertains to, you know, the country, not talking about a region. So everybody is really upset with his leadership. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Northern, El Northern Elders speaks on Gro Buhari's greatest mistake, neglecting of Nigerians. The immediate past Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Aminio Wali, has said that the greatest mistake of this present administration, President Muhammad Buhari, is his refusal to engage with all shades of opinion in order to find answers to the real challenges confronting the nation. Buhari has acted like a one-man army. He has not even listened to northern elders and different people who have come to speak and to cancel with him. Well, he, a former ambassador to China and permanent representative of the United Nations UN, in a published interview on Saturday, cited the government's inability to curtail the insecurity prevailing the nation and the poor management of the country's economy, in particular responsible for the different agitation for self-determination. According to him, President Muhammad Buhari has to open his doors wide to accommodate all kinds shades of people to listen to what they have to say not his official communication not his aides communicating with nigerians buhari has failed in this regard he has not paid attention to the very elementary leadership quality skill only then will he properly understand what is happening? He lives very far away from the people. He does not understand what the people are going through. He only gets words from those he wants to listen to. No leader can succeed governing a nation of 200 million people that way. What has happened so far can be the only reason why there is so much jeopardy in the country. The official version of what you hear from different sources of people within the country is art overwhelming. He lamented that the political approach that people in government have towards the opposition, particularly under the Prince administration, have not moved this country forward. As a matter of fact, people calling for sectioning, the president has not done well to listen to them and to understand the aggravation and to put things in order to stop the present predicament. This is why there is so much agitation in the country. Buhari is the cause. Wow. These are northern elders speaking and saying the problem we are experiencing and going through, Buhari did not pay attention and he's the reason why things are the way they are. Listen, Nigerians, when you have a president who is not listening, when you have a president who is very, you know, who is very hell-bent, you know, uh, on, on listening to himself and not any other person, these are some of the things that happen. You know, when it, Bingo wants to get lost, Bingo does not listen to anybody. No matter how loud, okay, are you listening? No matter how loud the, the, the hunter's whistle is going, is blowing, Bingo, where are you? Blowing the whistle all over the forest. Listen, guys, Bingo will not hear. No way. Bingo will not hear. Do you know why? Because Bingo is about to get lost. Mm. So Bingo will not hear. No way, he won't hear. Bingo will only hear if and only if he is going to be safe. But when Bingo is about to get lost, 
Shout his name today, tomorrow, next year. Keep shouting. Bingo will not, he will not hear. So these are some of the things happening. Do you know how many people have canceled with Buhari? Has spoken to him and, 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 and have advised him as regarding what he should be doing and how he should govern the people. You know, what, what is he doing? He would rather, you know, say he's not a weakling and want to attend to people with an iron fist. But those of his foes, he will be quiet and he will listen to them and he will pretend that all is well. You know, when Fulani headsmen start committing atrocity, you know, Buhari will be quiet and tell you that they only carry sticks. If these things continue, Buhari cannot, you know, I mean, the country is going nowhere. These are some of the things ongoing. These are some of the things happening. Nigerians, it's time to wake up and say no to the current predicament of what is happening. We have a president who does not understand what is going on with the people. Who does not care and who does not even want to know anything happening so if you have that kind of leader you are sure that doom is part of it this is what the country is experiencing that's why the country is not moving forward that's why things are the way they are because we don't have a president who have understanding of what the people are going through we don't have a president who understand the the, the, the issues going on in the country we have a president who is, I mean, who is nonchalant, who does not care. Whatever happens, whatever goes on, the people can do whatever they want to do. They can say whatever they want to say. He care less. So, I mean, this is the problem, the real issue we are experiencing. And so if we don't rise up, yes, if we all do not rise up and, you know, tell Buhari to his face, you are not a good leader. Maybe he does not know. Because Femi Adeshino and Garu Bashewu and others tell him he's doing quite well. That Nigerians are stubborn people and should be dealt with with iron fist. Of course, he said it recently again when he said uh, Buhari is doing well and the people, whoever is trying to section or do what they should be sent to God. That was what Femi Adeshino said, said that they should send them to God. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is, you see. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. You know, Buhari's greatest mistake, Northern leaders saying this guy has not paid attention to the basic and the most important thing. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely day. And uh, don't forget to please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. Bye for now.